G'day. So this next project I'm working on is pretty massive and there's no chance of me finishing it by the end of this weekend. And I've been trying to get one video out per week. So I'm gonna just uh, go through this as quick as I can and uh, I don't wanna make these videos too long. So what I've been doing is basically a hell of a lot of logistics for this aluminium project. Uh, so I'll just run through what's going on here. All right, so we've brought all the rest of the bauxite in the rest of the world uh, to this one location. And um, what you can see here is 11 lines of bauxite um, merged and load balanced um, with splitters. The way I've done it is um, the bauxite comes from all the parts of the world. I'll bring up the calculator map later along with other things uh, nice and neatly into here. Put them into a um, merged storage uh, buffer like this. And then the final thing that makes this work is a bunch of um, smart splitters here. So what happens is the, let me just get this, with every line, the overflow will go to the left and merge in, and then overflow will go to the left and merge in, so on and so forth until the end one, and then the overflow from that one will merge over to the right side over here. And in the end, we have um, 11 lines of Boxite merged um, evenly. Um, what the way we've done the, the reason I've done this is because uh, we've got a mix of pure, impure, and um, normal nodes. So these lines are either 600 or 780 or around about that, and uh, we just want them to be all nice and even. So that's enough for the bauxite. Uh, this train station here is going to be the aluminium casings. Actually, I will just quickly show you what I'm actually doing. All right, so over here, this is the 100 turbo motors uh, spreadsheet, and I'm currently working on this alley casing right here, 6,120 alley casings. All right, it's got its own little spreadsheet, and as you can see here, we need to get a lot of machines and a lot of resources in. Cool, so that's what we're doing. We're aiming for those... Um, 6,000 plus aluminium casings. Right, so I've brought in a lot of water. Uh, we need heaps of water. And um, so this is logistics hub here. This will be where the aluminium casings get picked up at the end. Um, so those belts are there in preparation. And the way I've got this logistics hub set up is all the refinery stuff will be in the north here and then all the other machines like assemblers and foundries will be in the south um, which i haven't even started really doing yet all right so the water comes in two trains of nine carriages and um, these nine lines here represent the nine carriages and two sets of them and what i've got going on here is merging nine lines into seven lines um, so this is the way i've decided to do it and they go into these sets of refineries. So these refineries are doing the um, original actual alumina solution recipe because I was low on silica, um, because the, the map is running out of quartz, and this is just the way I've chosen to do it. There's many ways to skin a cat. All right, so I've got 66 refineries here in this, in this layout here. You'll see the first seven rows, that's why I've got these seven pipes and they're going in each side. The first seven rows are gonna be using the water and then the sec, the last four rows, which aren't belted in yet, they're gonna be using the recycled water from over here, which is the actual aluminum scrap. Um, I've used a few power shards here and there to balance out the numbers, but that's basically what's going on here. So the water comes in, mixes with the, the um, bauxite, so as you'll see before, I've got 11 lines of bauxite and then 11 rows of six, so 66 refineries. They're all down here, prepped and ready to go. Cool, so that's what's gonna happen there. The silica is going to um, come out this way and it's gonna go join up all the silica. There's gonna be a lot of silica, 3000 or something, and then I'm gonna take it across to the other side there because we're using the silica to make the actual aluminium ingots. All right, so I've started planning out how I'm gonna get all the aluminium solution because they're pretty, um, there's quite a lot coming out here. There's like two 360 lines from each row of six. 
coming across here. This is pretty much what I've just been planning out now, and that's why when I realized, oh, this is never going to get finished anytime soon, uh, so I'll just make this video. So these are going to use uh, petroleum coke and the alumina solution, and that's what I'm merging in here. There's 42 refineries here, and obviously the byproduct here uh, is the water. And you never ever want to have this water overfill, which is why I have these last four sets of six refineries here. They are going to be running completely off the recycled water from here. Uh, right, so I used the petroleum coke recipe on purpose um, because over there is a node of oil, one of those new resource wells. And I've started laying out a factory which is going to make the petroleum coke and it's also going to make um, a bit of plastic. That's almost a whole side project in itself, but the petroleum coke is going to come from over there into there. Okay, so that is a pretty big setup and a pretty uh, quick rundown of what I'm doing there. Let's fly across to the other side and have a quick look. Um, all these pipes are going to be painted, by the way. Uh, I just haven't got around to that. I'm just marking out what's happening. Um, I'll paint all these the white blue for water and then these the white for the aluminum solution. It's just going to make things a lot easier. Alright, so in the last video I briefly showed uh, some of the quartz is coming in by train. Most of it's coming in by belt. There's one pure node of quartz left in the map now. Uh, this is a whole bunch of iron because the recipe we're going to use is that um, aluminium casing to make the copper. And then there is a hell of a lot of um, limestone here for the cheap silica. Okay, so that's here. I'm just going to expand this factory as I need to. And it's going to be pretty big because I'll bring this across and we'll have another look. 275 assemblers making the silica. 42 foundries here for copper ingots and another 138 foundries and then 55 assemblers. It's going to be a pretty big factory. So bring the, uh, whoops, that's not what I want to do. Let's bring up this and have a look, top down view. Um, so as you can see here, this is that logistics hub I've been working on. Um, everything to the north, I've just zoomed in so the map's going to take a little bit to load in. Everything to the north is going to be refineries. Um, everything to the south is going to be uh, the foundries and the assemblers. Cool, and then I'm going to make some sort of train system um, to come out here uh, nice and neatly and then actually come straight down, straight down here into the main base because that's where the aluminium casings are going and that's where the main project is, the 100 turbo motors per minute. So we'll have a look uh, at this belt bus. I'm not going to run through the whole belt bus, but this is picking up all, most of the bauxite just goes through the center of the map. Um, and it, I've run nice neat belts picking up all the bauxite and the quartz and some copper. So before I end the video, we'll just pop down here to the water uh, train area, have a look at this spiral and, and what I've done here, and then we'll go back over just real quick to where I'm picking up the limestone and a little bit of quartz, and we'll just have a quick look at that, and that's going to be it for this video. All right, let's go over there. Sweet, a train was going by. I managed to uh, hop in the train. That's going to make things a lot quicker for me to get over there. Uh, but we'll just have a quick look as we go down with this train. Um, as you can see, all the belts that I've done are quite uh, neat. Um, and actually, I probably do need to ground that intersection there. But uh, yeah. So it is a pretty epic train spiral here. Uh, but it is what it is. And um, it's actually pretty cool. Alright, so there she is. The epic train spiral going up next to the waterfall. Um, and there's quite a few different types of trains that go up and down here. But we're probably going to make a... Uh, well, we're definitely going to make another um, entry point to up the top here. Um, to go to the main base as well. Alright, so over there see in the distance that's the water thing uh, the water pickup we'll just go over there now all right so here is the water farm for the massive aluminium casing project 
Uh, might switch to the hover pack here real quick. Alright, so it's out here in the area where we've done a lot of oil and power stuff, which you've probably seen before if you've watched previous episodes. Uh, and then this is the secondary design of the train system. And I, I left this open, actually. Oh no, they're gonna clip. Uh, it is what it is. Um, but uh, I left this here saying, hey, I might need to build a factory out here, having no idea that if I would or not. Um, and it turns out, yes, need a lot of water. So this worked out perfectly. Um, so we've got two train stations of nine here with two uh, individual separate trains taking the water from here over there up the massive spiral into the uh, logistics hub up there. All right, so the last thing I'll look at is the limestone pickup and then that'll be it. All right, so we're in the top uh, left northern area of the map um, and there is lots of pure limestone up here and that's what we've done with this nice neat belt work, this bus here. It's gone and got seven pure nodes of limestone and brought it onto the train. So we'll just go down to this train area. Um, it also grabs some quartz and some uh, iron. Um, but I'll just quickly, briefly show this here because um, it looked a bit crazy in the last video. But I'll just go through how I did it. Rightio, so we have uh, seven, line, seven pure nodes coming down here. Seven pure nodes. So one, two, three here. Four, five, six, and seven. All right. How do I? How did I split seven lines into nine train stations? Well, I got these three lines and split them into the nine train stations. So three into nine, easy peasy. You'll see that this this line goes into those three. Uh, the next one goes into those three, and then oh, I should get some power here some power here really quickly just put some power over here for this video radio so I can fly all right so uh, those three lines go evenly into um, three train stations each all right and again with these three lines they go into three train stations each you can see a splitter here going into three tra train stations each and with the last seventh line I've simply split this seventh line into all nine train stations. All right, so it splits here three times, and then it splits again on each three of those times, three more times into each train station. And how am I getting in? I'm in because uh, each train station only has uh, two entry points. Well, I've simply just merged it in nice and neatly just there. And that was my method of doing it. Um, that is, like I said, before, there's more than one way to skin a cat in this game, uh, but that is how I have done seven lines into nine uh, train stations. That's gonna do for this video. Uh, hopefully I'll have this project finished by next week, and it's, it's a pretty epic project, to be honest. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed that one. Catch us later.